everybody. It's time for another Tokyo Treat Box as I throw things on the floor. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> it's time for another Tokyo Treat Box. This month, which is, uh, what are we in? <laughs> April or May? What is this supposed to be? This is technically May of 2022. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit this. I want you to see what actually producing this is like. Uh, this is May 2022 Sakura Picnic. So for the Cherry Blossom Sakura Festival, we have some tasty treats. And we lose the sun. There it is. All right, friends. Let me show you what came in this month's box. I'm actually really excited about this one. And I'm going to go in reverse. I'm actually going to start with the Kit Kat. So I actually already opened and ate a bunch of these because I'm obsessed. The Kit Kat flavor of May is banana caramel. So good. The artificial banana smell when you pull them out is very strong, but very, very tasty. The caramel chocolate coating is really, really delicious. This is the best fruit flavored Kit Kat I have had in any of these boxes in the last year. So highly recommend banana caramel. Okay, next up we have a Spring 2022 exclusive. It's a collaborative effort with Pina and I don't even know if I'm saying it's right, Pina Ame uh, and Tokyo Treat. It's a Sakura hard candy. Uh, for the sake of the tasting in the rest of the video, I do not want to um, eat one of these quite yet because I'm afraid the Sakura flavor will kind of override everything else. So I'm gonna wait and maybe do one at the end. Here we have some really cute Sakura marshmallows. They look like little <laughs> Sakura and uh, cherry, like little flower petals. They're tiny little marshmallows. It's so bright now. I can't win, it's either too bright or too dark. Um, but these tiny little flower petal shaped marshmallows, you can put them in your tea or your chocolate or just eat them. Um, they're super cute, but I'm not gonna open them because if I open them, they're all gonna get hard. So unfortunately, you're not gonna see me sample these, but I promise I will try something for you, okay? Uh, here we have the new flavor of a drink for the month is a Calpies Melon Cream Soda. It's got a picture of ice cream on the top, so it's a little bit more like a milk soda. I'm gonna definitely pop this in the fridge before giving it a sip because I think it's gonna taste like a refreshing dessert. Here we have a traditional returning item. This is the onion taro. Uh, we already know that this is delicious. It's been in several boxes. It's a nice crunchy snack with a nice oniony, cheesy flavor. Pretty simple stuff, nothing really, you know. Now this one, I definitely can't wait to try. This is a Tokyo Layer Loaf. It's a limited edition made just for Tokyo Treat Box. It is red bean and strawberry bread. It's got layers of strawberry and red bean paste inside, and it looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give this a little time. Oh, it's so soft. A soft little bun. Let me rip off a piece so you can kind of see. I don't know if you can pick this up on camera, but it's got so many little layers inside. That is delectable. Mm -hmm. It's just like a sweet little pastry bread loaf. I'm definitely gonna try and seal this up so it doesn't go stale and finish it later. Oh my gosh. All right, next up we have a new Pringles flavor. This is Pringles Cream Stew. So it's like a, well, cream stew. Kinda reminds me of my little um, loaded baked potato. Oh. Kind of reminds me of my little loaded baked potato figure I just got from Funko. So cute, except on a can. So let's give these guys a try. Pop this baby open. The smell is definitely a savory smell. Mmm. It really does taste like like a soup, like a creamy soup. Wow, creamy vegetable soup, perhaps. I don't know if that tastes potato. Probably just because Pringles are, Pringles are potato chips, but this is a delicious flavor. I like when they don't taste fishy, like the um, prawn ones, so I am definitely gonna be polishing off that can very quickly. That's for sure. Okay, next up we have some cola chewing candy. 
I don't like anything cola flavored. I've tried so many things and I just, I can't, I don't like it. So we're gonna pass this on to somebody else to enjoy. If you like cola, you may like that. Oh. Okay. Here we have the return of a delicious Taiyaki fish. It has a new name now though. It's not called Taiyaki. I'll put the name below in the comments. And it's a strawberry flavored fish. We've had these before. They're absolutely delicious, filled with bubbly aerated chocolate. So I can definitely recommend this strawberry fishy treat. It's so cute, they're so sweet, and perfect for that springy feel. We have a couple treats left. We have the ramen crunchy noodle snack, which we've had a bunch of times before. We have the robin egg crackers, which we have also had before. It's like a little peanutty uh, cracker. We have our cocoa bola, like a little cocoa puff style crunchy snack. We have another one of these little uh, taro snacks as well. We have another sour candy straw. This is Monster Minis sour candies. This stuff is so good. The sour candy in Japan is so flavorful. I just absolutely love it. And the last thing, of course, is now they've been adding a monthly ramen flavor. So let's take a look. This one looks super interesting. I'm going to give you the description because it's different than other ramens I've had before. So this is called, oh wait, I missed it. Okay, this is Marchan brand red kitsune udon. Okay, kitsune is fox, right? So red fox, is that right? Uh, red kitsune udon. It is a udon with dried bonito flakes, kelp, and a large piece of double deep fried tofu on top. I've never had a ramen that came with like a piece of tofu. So I'm excited to give this a shot. Uh, all in all, this was a pretty acceptable box. It had some delicious candy, some new treats, some special collaborations, a wonderful bread, and, but it did have a lot of repeated snacks that I'm not too keen on. Still happy for the collection, and I love that they've increased their packages to include new things like actual meal items and snacks. Definitely going to look into the future to continuing Tokyo Treat, but for right now, I am satisfied. This one was a quickie. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Aline. Have a wonderful day.